it's Sarah and I'm, I'm here today to talk about Dot Mandalas. Marina Hop, Mary Hop on YouTube, had a video up posting these things on hers and I took notice. I'm, I'm hooked. So I have big plans. Uh, I'm so happy though because I love trying new things you guys. So what I, this video is going to be um, Bege uh, dot mandalas for beginners. I am definitely a beginner. I've been doing this like a week, if that. Um, but I can tell you right now what I've learned in that week um, as far as tools, paints, and design. So let's get started. Okay, so this is a design that I am watching at the moment. There's lots of artists. If you put in a search for dot mandalas, lots of different stuff comes up. I have watched um, Lydia May and Kristen Urig so far in depth, like several of their videos. Um, also, Mark's Mandalas, I happened to see one of his, and I he suggested a certain tool set um, to make dots with, but um, I'll get to that in a sec. So, um, a mandala, so I had I have my little... Um, a mandala is basically, it's those, they're probably in coloring books and stuff right now. I did do one. Let me go get it. I want to see it. You know what? It's not, um, where is my little art journal? I don't know. Anyway, there's a few videos where you just draw. Um, so like, say you were going to do this mandala, right? You have to make a grid, so you're going to need a ruler, a pencil. Um, so let me just, okay, I don't even know if you can see that. Probably not. Um, let me use a pen here. So you're going to make a grid. You're going to find your center. And I actually don't know what a mandala is specifically. I did get this book that I have to read. I'm going to read. I just got it yesterday. Maya's here and I haven't had a chance. Mandala stones. So a lot of videos are on painting mandala stones too. And I will do a few stones. I have to find them. Uh, Lydia May actually did a video on where she went to get her stones um, to like a... Um, I don't know what they call it, like a granite yard or something where you would go and get masonry tools, different brick things and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to read this. Got this on Amazon um, because I like to know why, I don't know, that's just the type of student. I like to know why I'm doing it a certain way. I feel like my light is dark. It's dark in here. Um, anywho, so you need maybe a compass in your um, stash. I also bought this other tool that Lydia was using, this thing. I happened to see it at Hobby Lobby, but it's kind of like a spirograph, so you could like put your, you know, you can create a circle, but if you're working on something small, it won't be as easy because like say this, you know, I can't use that for that. Um, but you're gonna need some tools for creating a grid and then you're going to take that and put that onto your surface. So this is something I started and never finished, but you can see. And, and you're going to need like a, a chalk pencil. This is just by Generals. Got this at Hobby Lobby. Pastel chalk because it comes off. So I can just take a, um, this isn't very wet, a wet wipe. And when you're done painting your mandala, you can just wipe off all those chalk lines when it's dry. Um... What else? So a surface. So first I started out on paper, right? So I just cut, Marina had done this too. She cut just black cardstock. I think I did coat it with um, matte medium just to give it like, you know, so the paint didn't suck right into it. Um, so I started with just black cardstock. I think these are like three by three. Yeah. And my regular old um, craft paints. These are what I've used forever. Oops. I have tons of it, and really anything goes when it comes to paint. You can use cheap paint, expensive paint. The only thing about it is it has to be the right consistency. So for in order to get a good dot, so I wouldn't recommend the Martha Stewart paints by themselves. Um, maybe for a top dot, like a top dot would be... 
this is and this is a cool color I got this color gold mother of pearl is um, something that Kristen Urig recommended but I bought I saw it yesterday so the top dot on here on the green dots is the gold mother of pearl um, but for your base dots I think just using matte paint like the regular paint you could probably mix a little bit of the pearl with this but this is a really good consistency for a good standard dot making um, because I was try I tried my fluid acrylics I tried my acrylic inks and I tried um, that's basically it and then just any craft paint that I had so play around a little bit when you're first starting out with the paints to see what you're gonna get um, but other than that, I, I think I was just at Michael's, and they have right now, I think it's Craft Smart. They have little, in the $1.50 bin, they have like six packs of paint for like $3. So if you wanted to try it, you could get one of them. Like they have a pastel set. They have maybe, a, um, what is it, the primary color set, stuff like that. Um, but I love metallics and the pearls. So I re And Kristen actually adds, Marina said this in her... Um, tutorials or her share it was a share she puts bling little Swarovski crystals on top so I haven't done that yet but I'm gonna play around I have a couple bigger projects in mind um, so I will be back to share what I do but I just wanted to show for a beginner so that's what I would suggest at first play around with your paints and if you don't have any and you want to try this those um, craft smart paints would probably be fine to just play around with um, you're gonna need some you know grid making tools a chalk pencil or you know stuff like that and a ruler um, and then you're gonna need dot making tools right um, I think it's Lydia May who has a video I think Kristen does one too she uses pencil erasers different size pencils so there's like a standard size and then there's like a, the bigger size pencils um these styluses are fantastic i got this pack recently at walmart it's like a three pack uh actually this was hobby lobby um three different sizes so the, the different tips have different size balls it's a ball tool and so you can make your little dots with those um, Lydia May had a video where she got these at Walmart. So I found these at Walmart. I think it was like $1.99. These are dowels. And it was an eight pack of four different sizes. So you get a little, and then they go up in size. They graduate up in size. And I think I did a couple other, I'm going to show you what I've created so far. Um, getting better, but, um, I'm still, you know, I think that's why I just wanted to put this out there to let you guys know, play around a little bit. I mean, marinas are perfect right off the, like, see, that's the thing. I'm a heavy hand, and so my dots have were really big at first, and I wasn't spacing them right, but anyway, these are just big dowels. They were really long, and I cut them downstairs because I do have some bigger projects in mind that I want to make. Probably bigger than an 8x10 even. I want to go, like, 12 by 18 or 16. I don't really know the sizes, but... Um, for right now, just grab whatever you have. Like I said, paper is fine. Um, and then if you can get to, to, um, Joann's or even online, you can probably order these. This, these are the crochet hooks that both, I think Lydia and, um, Kristen both use. These are by, and I have the packets here, Susan Bates Crystalites Crochet Hooks. I was so excited yesterday because I didn't, I went to Hobby Lobby and they only had the metal version of these and they didn't have the flat bottom. See, these have a nice flat bottom. The metal ones have a rounded bottom, which was fine, but these are what you want. And I got two sets. So you have these bigger ones. And so this is a four pack and then a, and a five pack and they graduate in size. So this is really, um, and then also the tutorial for this piece right here, Lydia, no, Kristen, sorry, I'm getting their names mixed up, did the tutorial in, you, she used these. So you could tell what size dot she was doing by the size of the crochet hook. So it was really nice, color-coded and everything. 
These are very cheap, inexpensive, and they're light and easy to use. So I was so excited about that. Um, so this is what I've been working with right now. I am not, haven't used the dowels since I got these, so put them aside. Um, I'm using these and... I've just used little cheap canvases. So like, look, this was my first attempt on this little, I got this canvas at Target. It was like $1.99. I think they were clearanced. And I was using my, um, because Kristen used her, she uses the golden fluid acrylics a lot. Um, I think she must mix them with something, but I'm not positive. But I, they're very high polish too. They're gloss finish. And the blue is just too blue. You can't really see it on top of the black. I didn't make the dots the right size because this is the same pattern as this. But when you use paint that shows up and make the dots the right size, it's a big difference. So, you know, it took me a minute. I have to, you know, I'm not I'm not a fast learner, I guess. But um I used, and then these, I ended up getting like a six pack of these. I think these are six by six. Yeah, six by six uh, little, where are they? They're those, they're just like canvas board. Here they go. Wait a minute. My phone, I have so much going on here. But they're these, so I, and you, ba I base coated them. I have two more, I think. I think it's a, either a five or a six pack. This was another one, same pattern but I used different paints. I was playing around with what looks, so this has metallic, pearl, and I think the blue is metallic too, and matte. So there's three different kinds of paint on here, which I love, but I think I wanna stick with the, the, the um, metallics just for top dots. I mean, that's not to say it's not decent looking. It's okay. I think this blue is just too dark. It doesn't show up as nice as this did on the dark black. So these were super cheap and just to play with, a really nice surface to play with. Um, so I got those. Then I also always, because I'm, I have had wood in my house forever. I'm a decorative painter. Um, oh, here's another little canvas. This little canvas was from I don't know. I think it, Michael's. I think I got a couple, two of these little black canvases. Um, it was a two pack. And then I did put a coat of black paint on the back too. But this is another pattern. I kind of came up with this one. I was pretty proud of myself. Um, so that one turned out really good. But the thing is, as I got better, so like here's the evolve, how it's evolved so far. And I'm going to make a heart today. I got to get out and exercise and get it in. And then I'm going to try and make that before I go pick up Maya at school but um so I just have these little wooden discs and so I just started playing with them right away I think I probably just use styluses or you know whatever um and at first I mean I didn't I don't know what colors to pick I don't know why I'm picking this is all pearls and it's too much I think it's just too much going on here I'll zoom in like I mean Actually, it's not bad. The dots touch, which that's something I want to work on. I don't want my dots to touch. I want there to be a little piece of black. Like these two were pretty much my one of my first little ones I did. The dots are too close together. You want to keep it so that the dots don't touch. Eh, this one's a bit better because you can see the design better when the dots don't touch. That's just my feeling. Um, there's nothing wrong with the dots touching, but I am trying to work on being more patient because I'm not patient. And by the outside edge, you'll see like how loose my dots started to get. So basically, you want them as close as you can get without touching. That's going to be my goal, right? And I'm not patient, so by the end, I'm just like boop, 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 like going fast. And you have to, you know... I'll get there maybe with speed, but at first I want to focus on keeping my dots close but not touching. So this one turned out really cool. And this is a new color that actually Kristen Urig introduced me to. It's a Martha Stewart pearl paint. It's called Gold Mother's of, Gold Mother of Pearl. 
So that's what I did my top dots with. I'll show you. On the burgundy in there, OMG. It's like a golden pearlescent. It's so cool. And then I think it's under, no, that's just the regular, that's a pink pearl under there. Anyway, all right, so then, then this one is just done with all my fluid acrylics, and it's just a mess. Like, you can see how the yellow is, like, it's dented and, you know, um, and it's really high polish, so maybe for top dots, but keep it um, matte on, I like the pattern, but it's not showing up. That dark blue just isn't happening for me. I'm not happy with that. These two were pretty. I did these while Maya was in the shower last night before, you know, like that fast. She went up to take a shower and I put out some paint, four colors. I used green, pink, blue, white, and threw this together. So th this is pretty much the latest ones I've done. So you can see my dots are pretty close together. I mean, at the end, you know, they get looser, but toward the middle, they're staying pretty tight. Um, and this one's kind of my own design. I mean, it's probably not, probably been done. These are still, these are touching though. So I would work on that, but it's like a pinwheel design. I just kind of did a pinwheel design sort of kind of, right? So these three are pretty cool. I like these. These just happen to be done in the same, um, just because you put a lot of paint out, well I do, use these little bubble palettes. This part came on my new, I got a new water bucket and this happened to be the lid of the water bucket. So I was using this yesterday, but then I did go get another one because I'm impatient and I would want to start another palette before cleaning that because it's kind of messy to clean it. Actually, the easiest way to clean this is to let it dry and you can just pull the paint out like it hardens and you can pull the paint right out anyway. So I'm happy with these three. I really like them, but I want to get some rocks. I'm very excited about that. So I think I'm going to redo both of these. I'm going to choose different colors and definitely, definitely not put my dots as close together. You can't even see the center of that. And it's the same pattern as this. This is the same pattern. Kristen Urig did a big one of these and I really want to do it for my husband too. I'm going to probably cop, try and copy hers as close as I can color wise and everything. But the dots are too close together here. You can't there's no black in the middle and then these it could be I don't know it's just it doesn't seem like I picked the right this should be the bigger dot and then the little dot to fill the space like I put the big dot then little so I should have done that opposite I'll figure it out but I was following this pattern and in a smaller version it didn't it didn't translate the same um, but I love it it's a mandala I mean a, um dream catcher so I'm going to redo that one. And today I think I'm going to do a heart. So I just cut out a heart and traced it on here, another ATC. And I'm just going to do it in sections and make different patterns and stuff. So it'll just be like a rainbow of color. Um, so I'll redo this one too. Just because, I mean, it's not bad. Maybe I won't. I just don't like the way they look. This one looks pretty good. I'll probably keep that one. Um, so what else? This one I showed you already. I think that's it. Um, so yeah, so Marina Hop, thank you so much for sharing your, your work. Marina, you do, you do such nice work. I just wanted to share. Um, I, oh, the tools. So get yourself some crochet hooks. There's, I will tell you one more thing about the tools, and I'll probably return this, but you can use anything that makes a dot. But I just wanted to share, I've used some things and had trial and error. Like, I much prefer these to the dowels. I'm just being honest. They're cuter, <laughs> and they're light and easy, and the color coding was so great when I did the tutorial. So, um, that was awesome. But, this is something else I got. This is the Pittsburgh Transfer Punch Set. There's 28 pieces in here. I've pulled half of them out, so I have... 12 and 12, right? There's no 28. It's 14 and 14. Because, I mean, each size is close enough. Like, if, you know, I just pulled every other one out because you don't need that much of a difference in size. 
but what I found was all of these are basically, I have all those sizes with my, um, so if you can't get your hands on these, I got these for $10 at Harbor Freight. Um, but they're just heavier, but they're not that heavy. I mean, they're okay. And usually when you're working on a mandala, you have like a few that you use, like you're just going from three different sizes. It's, it's not like it, um, you have to use that many at one time. But anyway, that was from Mark's Mandalas. He's the one who talked about that. Um, all right, you guys, so get yourself some dotting tools. Get yourself, and you just can use black paper at first. Um, and make yourself a dot mandala, and I'll be back to share uh, what I create. I'm going to make a peace sign. I'm so excited about that. Um, and I'm definitely going to work on another one of these um, dream catchers, but in a bigger form. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.